All right, next one, part three. So it asks you to get two empty pipettes, which I have. And then it's going to ask you to fill each one a third full with two different chemicals. So one is calcium chloride, which is right here. And the other is sodium carbonate, which is right here. So what it asks you to do is fill them up and then cut the stems so that one is going to fit inside the other. And then you'll see the reaction happen in a pipette. Okay, so what it asked you to do was cut them so that one fits inside the other. So I've tried not to mix them. I'm going to put these on the scale and see what it gets me. Okay, so this is before the liquids were reacted, so record that. All right, now I'm going to mix them. So I'm going to squeeze one into the other. So you can see that salt was made. There's a white precipitate in there. You see that? See the salts? Okay, so now that I've reacted them, let's just put it right back on the balance and see what I get. Go ahead and record that. Okay, now we're on to step four. So what it's gonna ask me to do is fill a water bottle, a third full, so I do have my water bottle. I'm gonna fill it a third full, and then I need to fill the cap with sugar, and then place them both on the balance and record the total mass, so let me get that. Okay, so here you have the water bottle, a third full, and the cap is filled with sugar. There's the weight, so go ahead and record that. Okay, now it's gonna ask me to put the sugar into the water bottle and then put the cap on, shake it so that there's um, a reaction, and then put it back on the scale. Okay, so I've added the sugar into the water. I'm trying to get it to dissolve. Can you see it in there? Okay, just give it another minute and then I'll put it on the scale. Okay, here we go. So that's sugar is inside the bottle now. I mixed it, the cap is on, and this is the new mass. Okay, now we're on the last part, which actually has two parts to it. So you're supposed to get the water bottle, which I've rinsed out. Um, I'm supposed to fill it again a third full, and then put a piece of alka seltzer so I would choose one of these, they've been already cut into fourths, um, into the dry cap. And then I'm supposed to add it to the water, Oh no, first I have to mass it and then I'm going to add it to the water and then see if there's a difference. So hold on. Okay, so can you see it? So there's the water, there's the Alka Seltzer, here's the mass. Okay, now I'm supposed to add the Alka Seltzer to the water, cap it, and then put it back on the scale. So I thought you'd like to see the Alka Seltzer in the water, see it going? I can shake it up a little, but I want that to react. See it going? Okay, so I'll come back when it's completely done. Okay, so there it is. It's done reacting. So now I'm going to put on the scale. So go ahead and record that. Okay, and the last part is to take the cap off and then leave it on the scale and then wait until um, the mass is done changing if it changes. So I can oh, hang on. Okay, so I pulled the cap off. Now you can see the mass has changed. So I'll come back when I'm when it's steady. Okay, so the mass is holding steady at this amount. So be sure to record it over here. And make sure you realize that this starting value um, is where you left off over here. So this was with the cap on. And then that's with the cap off.